Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome to Weaves of Waves. I have a very shaky hand. I'm not sure how to do this. This is me with my selfie stick. There we go. So if you just rest it like that. But here I am outside in the fog. And it's like a magical mystery land. Can't see much. There's a sort of a foggy sun. It's like I'm all alone in the world. <laughs> I love my country. I love my green and pleasant land. I've traveled lots and lots of places and every time I come back to here and it's just awesome. So I'm not gonna stay out here long. The grass is green, but it's, it's very, very wet. It's crunchy underfoot. So there was a frost last night, temperatures dipped down, but we're pretty lucky. We don't have much snow. We just get a lot of rain. <laughs> we've had a lot of rain. We've had a lot of wind. And it's a beautiful space to be. So I thought I'd take my new selfie stick out and see if I could do a outside sell, uh, outside broadcast. It's like, ooh. So uh, I'm not gonna stay out here long. It's a little cold and I probably should have put a coat on. But wow, magic is found in so many places. Be back in a bit. There we go, all back and warm inside again. Yes, it was nice out there, but a bit crisp. Ah, oh, I enjoy the crisp mornings. I watch the sun come up every morning and it just makes me love my country more. I just appreciate the green and pleasant land that we live in. Um, I've lived many different places. I grew up in abroad. I grew up in Greece, Jordan, all kinds of places like the States for a little while. And um, yeah, it was, uh, Lots of places. I also lived in South Africa um, for a good 10 years and I love England. This is where I choose to be. This is the place where I will stand. A lot of people saying that they want to leave the country now because of government stuff. Um, I don't have that option anymore. Um, I will stand and stay and fight for my country and my way of life. And okay, that's, that's my acceptance. I, I, I accept that because this is what I was born for. Um, I have traveled this last year. I traveled down to Cornwall and I've traveled. I was in Wales for a little while um, the like year before and yeah, I know Southern England. Um, Southern England is my um, my soul home, my root. And I go as a pagan, I go to stone circles and I go to sacred forests and sacred springs and I just be present. Um, there's no ceremony. There's no ritual. It's just being quiet inside and just allowing. Um, it's a kind of a surrender. You just surrender to the feeling of the place. And some of them uplift you, some of them empower you, some of them connect you to all kinds of things that uh, you can't really compute. You, my mind just goes, okay, there was something going on there, but I wasn't sure. But it doesn't matter. To overthink these things is, is my, my biggest problem. And it's, I've learnt over the years just to get with the program, just say, okay, something's happening. It's a feeling rather than a thought. So just feel it and feel it fully. And putting my hands and feet on the earth in England is, is absolutely, I'm going to use the word, orgasmic. It is totally orgasmic. You can, you just feel the age of the place. You feel your bloodline. You feel your blood sing. Um, you feel so many things that words just just don't match up and I'm a pretty good with the words bit but yeah the things that I feel at the earth is amazing and I really recommend looking around at the country you're in <coughs> excuse me um, the country you are in you don't need to go abroad if you are in England walk down the lane see the little creatures See from the glorious mountains to the sort of the plains to the canals to the rich, rich, richness of the soil. And people have been here 5,000 years plus, And it's like, wow, some of the places where I live is around the Somerset levels. And the Somerset levels have got old walkways. It used to be a, a marshland um, and it still is in places, but um, a lot of it was underwater. And they found boards and walkways that date back that 3,000 years. People have been doing stuff here for thousands and thousands of years, living their lives. And when you start to look at it at that scale of things, all the little tiny things about this country that annoy the hell out of me, 
don't mean that much. And it's like letting go of politics, letting go of division. What do we have in common? We live and breathe in this country. And that should be enough. Um, yeah, I don't care about the rulers of the land. The rulers of the land are far away from me and yeah, they've been interfering with my life. So stuff that and I'm not that keen of the queen and all that nonsense divine right to rule. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> it's kind of like having a priest that intermedes you and God. I've never really understood that. Um, if I want to have a chat with a God, I'll go to him direct or her direct. Um, having a priest that will sort of intermede and it's the same sort of thing about the divine right to rule. Um, I don't feel that they're any more or less human than I am. So yeah. But yeah, they're interfering with politics and they're trying to interfere with my life. And my life is mine and I can, I should, because of my generation, we were brought up to feel that we have the right to live our lives as we choose as long as we don't hurt anybody else or hurt ourselves. Um, and I will take that responsibility as long as I'm not hurting anyone else or I'm not hurting myself, then I have the right to live as I choose. Yeah, they start sort of blurring the lines a bit, but it's still, you connect back with the earth connect with the space you are in. Um, I, ha I want to travel around my country still. I love sort of going for a drive, uh, going to the beach, um, seeing and feeling different places where people have lived for many, many thousands of years. And their, f their thoughts and feelings are still there. You can pick them up. You can pick up a stone and pick up a, you know, uh, be go around a, star a stone circle and feel their presence. And they thought very differently in those days. It's like our thoughts have been sculptured. It, um, modern era with television and um, yeah, or the internet, social media, it's kind of sculpted our thinking. If you tune into something like somebody who built a stone circle, they had a far, far different view on life, far more long term. Um, what do they say? You know, you plant trees, you don't expect to s sit in the shade. Yeah, these people planted stone circles that they would not see much of and often it wouldn't be finished in their lifetime. That's a pretty awesome way of looking at life. So some of my ancestors I, I look at and I think, wow, I like the ones that think differently. I, a lot of my ancestors uh, were warriors, soldiers, um, priests. <laughs> um, but that was the, the, the sign of the times. But the, you can see how it's all changed, it's all altered. Our way of thinking, our way of life has got a lot more stressful and a lot more complicated. And it's not in a good way. Um, it's finding, tapping into those old ways. Now, I don't say it's going back to it. I don't think going back to the old ways is the right way either. It's developing a mixture of the old and new. What works for us? What works for you doesn't necessarily work for me and vice versa. And I think tuning into the old ways is a good step for me to keep me sane. It's an insane world out there. It is absolutely fucked up. Um, clown world. I like that phrase because yes, you could almost see the circus and the custard pies. They're flinging them left, right and centre. But a walk in the morning, a deep breath, a look at the sunrise, a look at the sunset, it's full moon. Full moon is often uh, a time when your emotions are tugged to the utmost. Anyone who works in customer services or the medical or police or fire knows that people go absolutely nuts. There's like a spike in nutty people. In the lunar things, and you watch the animals and they go absolutely batshit crazy sometimes. So yeah, the, the moon pulls our emotions. Um, as a Chinese medicine, it says kidneys. So kidneys is water. So the kidney, the water in our body is affected just as much as the tides to a greater or lesser degree. Um, I am seriously over emotional and uh, empathic. I hate the empathic bit. It's, it's annoying. My partner is totally the opposite and I envy that because I feel everything very fully, especially at the full moon. So I'm not a full moon person. <laughs> Give me the dark moon any day where the emotions are not being tugged all over the place. But yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying the, the thought process that um, being grounded and connected with nature brings about. 
it just is like a, a deep breath and a, a renewal because you do get sat tired I get soul tired it's not that I sleep or I don't sleep it's just I'm so tired of just dealing with more stuff yeah I'm dealing with tax man I'm dealing with this and that and it's like does it ever stop yeah it does it does actually stop go outside take a deep breath you don't have to stay long um, and it stops and there was a time and a space where people didn't have to deal with all that nonsense however they had other stuff to deal with they dealt with it got very very cold last night and I was very grateful for central heating I was very grateful for an electric blanket I was very grateful for a I'm not living in those times so I want to combine the times I want to take what was good in those days and what is good in these days and combine them for a future that could be awesome I'm watching a series uh, all of mankind and it's like it's an alternative history it's like what happens if the space race didn't finish and we had a base on the moon and we could explore the stars oh wow somebody has really thought about sort of like let's project stuff I'm a science fiction buff I'm a geek I like I liked comics in the old days I'm very fond of the Marvel movies yeah all that um, but yeah taking taking the technology that we have and taking it far further but also doing it in an ethical um, moral maybe that's the wrong word I don't necessarily mean Christian morals I mean human morals because yeah it's uh, it's a it's a big minefield that but I think in a just a wholesome way would be better can we use technology in a wholesome way now there's a question but yeah it's it's still a beautiful space out there there is still love and hope and beauty beauty is in the world and that's where we're aiming for that's like hold on to that it's it's just keep going keep going it's, it doesn't have to be rushed, little tiny bit every day. Keep going. I love you lots. Take care of yourselves and each other. Speak to you later. <laughs>